What is going on, you guys? My name is CPK, and today I'm bringing you to my first prank video on the Arcadia server. Hopefully, you enjoy this. You get to see a prank, kind of his reaction, his supposed prank versus me, and then another prank on him that he doesn't entirely know about yet. So, I really hope you enjoy this. Make sure to hit the like button right now because it's going to be funny as hell, I promise you that much. Uh, and if you enjoyed this or used your idea, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to leave some more ideas for future trolls and who I should do them against. But right now, Let's get trolling. What is going on you guys, my name is CPK, and today I'm going to be bringing you uh, a sort of part of a pranking video, uh, getting back at Scott, because you've probably seen at the start of this video, which was recorded a day ago, that I pranked Scott, then you saw his reaction, now you're seeing this, and this part, he actually he tried to get me back, uh, didn't do very well, um, so I turned it into a good thing, so I'm going to show you what happened, and then what I did back to him, and don't worry, he won't see this until tomorrow so he'll, he'll already know about the prank so nothing is going to go wrong so I came back to my home the other day well about 20 minutes ago and there was a little box here that said good luck and it had some shovel it had a shovel in and some buckets uh, this room was entirely filled with dirt which is okay you know it's kind of funny um, and I got rid of all that stuff and then up here was filled with water now the issue was uh, he'd actually placed all the water in creative mode which meant that every single piece was like a sauce, which means I actually couldn't get rid of it unless I put loads of dirt down. So what I decided to do instead was take loads and loads and loads of buckets of water and make this lovely water feature, which I'll now show you from outside because it's very, very pretty. So I used his prank, which was supposed to annoy me, and uh, actually turned it into something very pretty for my house. If you'd like to come around here, as you can see, I now have my own little private waterfall with a little swimming pool down here. And you know, you can get some friends over and you can go to the top of the waterfall and you can just go skadoosh. Um, 
but you know, uh, we did. I, you know, we made a vote in the group Skype chat because uh, no one feels that he should be able to use his op powers because Scott is the only one that has OP because he is the guy who like started the server for everyone. Um, so Scott's the only one with the OP powers, and he used those to prank or get rid of his pranks. Which we kind of think is a little bit unfair, because it's not really fair because we can't really get rid of any of our things. So, uh, yeah, we decided that he shouldn't really be able to do it in the future. Whether or not he abides, but that is his choice. I can't really stop him, I guess. Um, but then I thought, you know what, he tried to prank me and it didn't go very well. And I think I've already won the prank war with Scott. So this probably be the last thing I do to Scott for a while. Uh, I'll move on to someone else. Uh, but I decided to go and get him back anyway. Um, doing a number of things, using some pranks that you guys actually suggested. There were a couple of people suggested uh, something that I did. Uh, and then I came up with one of my own. So this is Scott's house now. As you can see, that's Scott's wizard's tower there. Um, that he put a lot of hard work into, obviously, because it looks quite nice. And he put a little flag on there. And up there, you can't really see it from here, but I put some sand on top and a little sign that says CPK's tower. So. You know, we'll see how long it takes him to get rid of that, but he could just fly up there with his op and uh, get rid of it. Then I decided to go one step further, and you know, it's like, oh look, Scott's house! And then you go in, and obviously he'd just be rushing, he wouldn't be paying attention. And would go in his house and uh, fall down there. That's the uh, plan anyway. And there's, just, there's some water down there, so you know, it doesn't actually do anything bad, there's no negatives here. Uh, he doesn't die. Uh, then I went upstairs, and I took his beds. Uh, and I put his beds where I felt like they belonged, uh, which is up here on the on the wall. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, the last thing I did was just on the other doorway, just in case he comes in one doorway, not the other one. I actually did this, uh, which is another hole. Really awkward because he has a, a secret room there. I'll show you the secret room. I didn't know about this, and I dug a hole, and it turns out he actually has a secret enchanting room here. And I dug a hole straight through it. Uh, but then it turns out that his house is right above a cave. And he's going to set on fire. Um, he can, t you know, take himself straight back off fire by going into the water. And even if you die, you don't lose your stuff. So I mean, he's not really at any sort of loss. Um, but I just thought it was funny, and that's just going to be it for now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I won the prank war. You guys can let me know in the comment section if you feel like I won. I'm pretty sure I won. Uh, his was quite fun, but didn't really do anything. wasn't really annoying. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, leave some more ideas on who I should prank next and what I should do. And I'll be sure to get around to doing it because it's hella fun to do. Um, but right now, thank you for watching. I've been CPK. Don't forget to stay squishy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!